talk to me. Really wanted me to. Can I talk? Come on, come on, come and talk to me. Shot. Mac Mean was popping. Alberto Cabrera, Alberto Cabrera was really good. My nigga Thomas was popping. Starting to get bit up already, like. I'll be glad when summertime is over, baby. You know, freeze these little dudes. Freeze these bastards out. Yeah, bro. I'm a I'm an old school nigga. You're every time I hear that, can I talk to you? I told y'all niggas, every time I hear that song, I just think about that soda, that wholesale soda spot that's across the street from Prospect Park. Cause the summer that that record came out, we was having a cookout in Prospect Park, and the kids got sent to go get the sodas. You heard? So every time I hear that song, I just think about the time we was in Prospect Park, copping them sodas up out that spot that year. Can I talk to you? Really wanna love you. Romy 16 was popping. Alt G was really good. Vince Breeze was popping. Mr. Martin was popping. Seven Souls was really good. All right, man. Mosquitoes. Skeeters biting me, man. Skeeters, you heard? You know you a nigga from the... You from the depths of... You from the depths of the south if you saying shit like that. Skeeters. Yeah, it's a couple of skeeters out there. Settle down, skeeter. Hold on, Amazon is ringing my shit. Hold on. That's my new piece of camera equipment that I'm going to get. Oh, oh, oh. You hurt? Can't wait to toss that on and slide out to Midtown. You hurt? What's up? What up? What up? Make me fuck one of y'all little niggas up out here, man. You up? <laughs> Nigga riding this bike, man, close to me. Make me fuck one of y'all little niggas up. Take your bike out here. I heard I come pedaling my bike to my building like this. On live, yo. I just took a little nigga bike on live, son. Knock your shit right off that bike. Bloop, 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 bloop. Give me this shit. Uh, rig, your, rig your motherfucking gears and all of that, nigga. <coughs> Throw a quarter water on your spokes. Have your shit sounding like a young motorcycle and all of that next time you see your shit, nigga. Yeah. Oh, high school nigga. Like, son, why you riding close to me with the... Why you riding close to me with that bike, son? You think, you think I'm soft or something, son? Be, 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 give me this shit. Go sell that shit for 20 cash. Go sell that shit for 25 cash. Get me a good eighth. Get me a good eighth. Yo, I'm tight, bro, because I don't got no weed. I just remembered that shit. Ain't this a bitch? Now I'm going to have to go on a motherfucking journey. And leave my delicious parking spot that's so delicious. You heard? Now I gotta leave that shit and go get some motherfucking weed. Cause my weed man decided to go get a job. My weed, my 
My weed connect is fucking up, man. My weed connect trying to change his life for the better. You heard trying to work. You fucking me up, son. You heard? I thought we was in this forever. Together. You heard you fucking me up, bro. You getting jobs and shit, you know what I mean? Trying to do the right thing. Nah, son, I need that eighth, you heard? I started to hit son with a... I started to hit son with a... He said, yeah, bro, you know I'm at work right now. I said, I noticed me at the register right here, you heard? <laughs> like the memes we say about the weed, man. They like, yeah, bro, I got a new job, man. You heard? I'm, I'm in this department. So, yeah, that's me at the register right now, bro. Come see me. You heard? I'm about to pull up on that nigga job. Yeah. Nigga been at work two days. I'm like this. Yo, it's uh, such and such here. All right. Um, oh, he in the, tell him I got that 25. You heard? Fuck the nigga whole job up, man. Word is bond. KX was popping. Sean Summers was really good. Codename Mots was popping. Ernest O'Brien was really good. It's facts. YG TV, what up? Relic 187 was popping. Maxine Ellis was really good. UK in the building. Yurt. Yeah, man. I'm about to go upstairs, smoke me a nice slim block. I got a little bit of weed left. It's kind of the last of the Mohicans, you heard? Once I roll that last of the Mohicans up, I ain't even got, Roach Gang ain't even in the building right now. You heard? So I'm going to have to take my ass to actually go get weed like a peasant. You feel what I'm saying? I hate having to do shit like that. Like, I'm too, I'm beneath, that's beneath me now, nigga. You heard? I need a pound of that perp and that's it, nigga. Straight pound of perp. Yurt. G Mun was popping. Real talk, New York was really good. Really dynamite. Was popping. Yeah, man. But yeah, I think I was on that live yesterday. You heard with the heavy hitters. Know what I mean? We did it real big on live yesterday. Go check that live out on you, the brother Unique Mecca audio page. You heard it was some good brothers in the building. We had a nice, good, long live, you heard? But yeah, it was some good heavy hitters. Me, uh, 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 Mecca Audio, Hassan Campbell, Ten Toes Down, uh, the bro T-Mac. You feel me? Motherfucking, um, the bro, um, death of a real nigga. Death of real niggas. Death of the real nigga from out of Philly. Feel me? We had some good brothers on there dropping some good jewels, man. So you know what I mean? When y'all niggas go, you know, it wasn't no beef. Nobody beefed with each other. Nobody disrespected each other. Niggas talked about grown ass shit like grown ass men. So you know what I mean? When you get a chance, go on that um, unique Mecca audio page. You know what I mean? And share that and comment on that. And go rep that Gen Pop over there so they can know Gen Pop is in the building like a janitor. You heard? You know what I mean? Like a broom closet. But, um, yeah, that was a good live yesterday. We doing, we doing big things out here, my nigga. We clamming up. We clamming up, my nigga. Word is Bon Jovell. George Logan was populating. <clears throat> yeah, man, you know, bro, you know, I, and this is, you know, I'm not here to, uh, you know, shit is business. But uh, none of my business, really. But, you know, you know, uh, realistically, Cause you know the brother said something yesterday, Hassan Campbell, about you know you you be in situations where you know a nigga might run down on you talking crazy, and then you know you trying to be a grown man, but you resort back to the ignorant shit. Cause a nigga make you resort back to the ignorant shit. You feel me? But the reality is, bro, 
it comes a time for everybody that's really doing something. It's gonna come a time, my nigga, where you become so successful and so popular that people no longer look at you as a human being. You understand? Like, people are cruel out there, my nigga. Like, after a certain level of fame, you are no longer fucking human to people. South Park did an episode about this. Because, you know, South Park, they drop heavy jewels. They just do it in a funny way. But really, they dropping jewels. And they had an episode about this shit with uh, Paris Hilton. And basically what they said in that episode is that America, what we do is a star comes about. We love that star. And that star gets so big, he ba the star becomes basically a sacrificial lamb for the American pop culture. It's like, oh, everybody was on Paris Hilton dick at one time. You know, Paris Hilton, if I'm not mistaken, she's the one who put Kim Kardashian on. Like, Kim Kardashian was hanging out with her trying to get popular. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, so what I'm saying, my point being is she was a big motherfucker at one time. But as soon as she started doing shit, you know, human shit, making human errors and doing shit that people didn't like, they turned her into a fucking sacrificial lamb, meaning everybody made fun of her. Everybody took their turn shitting on her to a point where you like niggas will really make a celebrity want to kill themselves, my nigga. Like niggas forget that a celebrity has human feelings and niggas like just go all out yo stupid bitch crackhead bitch big feet bitch this that this ugly bitch plastic surgery bitch niggas go in on a celebrity so much that i don't care how much of a star you are it's gonna hurt your feelings my nigga and you are going to begin to feel like everybody is your enemy because nobody is respecting the fact that you're a human being you're just popular and he, people know you motherfuckers will flip on you my nigga and turn you into a fucked up nigga you feel what i'm saying so it gets to a point where you become so successful bro that for your own safety and the safety of others because you know you ain't a sucker you know you ain't gonna let a nigga just do anything to you so for your own safety and the safety of others you gotta change all your environments my nigga where you go get your favorite hero, you got to get a new place that you go get a favorite hero. Where you like to hang out and smoke weed, you got to get a new place that you like to hang out and smoke weed. Because nobody believes you're human anymore after a certain level of fame and stardom. Nobody, niggas don't want to hear that you're human. What can you do for them? How can you help them? How can they come up on you? How can they film you and you and go viral, have some footage of you? That's what ends up happening. And you know, it's disgusting. And this is why a lot of celebrities, they don't really fuck with nobody else but other celebrities because they're trying to stay sane. And if they try to go into the regular people realm, they might lose their mind because people don't treat them like a regular person no more everybody has you know uh, uh, something that they trying to get out of you or something you feel me that's what happens i'm not on nowhere near on that level yet but it's a lot of motherfuckers that is on that level and you know that shit is rough my nigga you feel me you a major star like robert de niro or something son niggas be on your back all day son you heard niggas that come up to you saying all type of shit. Niggas that come up to you and perform a, a, a scene out of Shakespeare. You be in the Olive Garden eating a meal or something. Nigga just get on his knees and be like, Thou, thou 14,000 years ago and thou shalt not. You be like, what the fuck? Nigga be performing like, I just did Shakespeare for you. And then you be like, yo, nigga, I'm eating. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga be like, oh, he's a, such a dickhead. He's such a fucking dickhead celebrity. My nigga, like, I'm eating a meal. You just busted out into a motherfucking Shakespeare routine in the middle of the restaurant, my nigga. You feel me? Like, you bugging out. But that's how it goes down, bro. You feel me? And, you know, even with me, bro, I ain't no fucking big nigga like that. But, you know, the whole city, the whole city know who the kid is now. And it's like, I'm, around, I'm out here like a regular motherfucker, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But I find myself... You know, resorting back to shit too. Like, 
I'd be like walking down the street, a nigga be looking at my face too much. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck you looking at in my head? I'd be like, the fuck you looking at, nigga? But then I got to say to myself, the brother might know me from YouTube and he just don't want to say nothing. So he just giving me a look. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to run down and you be like, yo, Laz, what up, son? I'm a watcher of your show. Everybody ain't going to do that. Some niggas just going to give you a look. And then sometimes when a nigga see a celebrity, they don't know. And I'm not saying I'm a celebrity. I'm just talking about a nigga that's, who is a celebrity. Sometimes a nigga, uh, he don't, rem he don't know where he know the nigga from. So he be looking a little hard like, I know this nigga from. And you be like, fuck this nigga ice grilling me for. Then you end up getting yourself in a situation and a nigga really was just looking at you because he know you from YouTube or something like that. So you gotta tread lightly out this bitch. You gotta be easy. You can't jump to conclusions. You feel what I'm saying? You can't look for problems. You can't do none of that, my nigga. You just gotta get low, my nigga. You gotta get low, get your money, my nigga, and get fucking low, my nigga. You understand? Like, I'm a grown-ass man, so I had enough running the streets and shit. I had enough of the shit. I'm not gonna miss, I'm not gonna miss the streets too much when I get low. You feel me? I'm tired of New York City, nigga. I really am. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I love New York, but I'm tired of this bitch. You heard? There's only so much you could take, nigga. Darius M was popping. Don Juan Motor was really good. 10 DM was really good. Silly Guts was popping. Louis V was popping. Blaze House Studios was popping. Jamal Diaz was really good. Mark Mark Perriera was popping. Yeah, son. But yeah, niggas be violating, son. Like you ain't you ain't no you ain't no human to a nigga no more, man. You know what I mean? And then that shit is, that shit, a lot of niggas, they don't know. You niggas want to be a star and a celebrity, but you don't know if you want to give up your regular niggerism. You heard? You will miss your regular niggerism when you become a celebrity. You be like, damn, I used to be able to, you know what I mean? Come over here, smoke a blunt, chill. Nobody paying a fucking, no attention to me. Now, niggas coming up to me 11 times while I'm smoking my blunt, you feel me? So you gotta ask yourself, do you even really want that shit, my nigga? You know what I mean? This ain't nothing like your regular nigga freedom. That regular nigga freedom is sweet, my nigga. It's sweet. That's why I'm good with, you know, a chosen few motherfuckers knowing who I be and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't need the whole fucking world knowing me. I'm good. Leave that shit for somebody else who want that, that level of attention. I don't really want that level of attention, you feel me? I just want enough attention to feel like I'm somebody, nigga. You heard? I ain't waste 25 years grinding for nothing. I did something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. You smell me? Some of these niggas, man, you know, like I said, sacrificial lamb. Some of these niggas, man, the game just turned them into a sacrificial lamb, nigga. You heard? I'm good with all of that shit. You feel me? And then, you know, money too. Money is great. Love money. It's awesome. But it's like... I'd get bored if I was just doing this for money. You feel me? If I just was doing this for money, shit would be corny and boring for me. Like, I don't give a fuck about just money. I love money like everybody else. I love to get money rather like everybody else. But I'm not... I'm not doing this just for no money. You know what I mean? This shit is exciting to me, nigga. You heard? I'm excited with the come up. You feel me? The come up is exhilarating. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I love to be that underdog nigga that's coming up. You feel me? So it ain't just about the guap. You know what I mean? When I get the guap, it's just the cherry on top. You feel me? But I'm really into this shit because I'm really passionate about this Brooklyn history. You know what I mean? Rikers Island history. I'm really passionate about this shit. You feel me? A lot of niggas may not understand it. A lot of niggas may think I'm glorifying jail, glorifying street niggas and gangsters and killers. Nah, my nigga, I'm just giving up the history. When niggas break down the history of the mob and tell you every nigga that was involved, involved with the Gambino crime family in the booth, this crime family and that, y'all niggas be at the TV like this. You feel me? It's the same thing I'm doing with my borough, my nigga, and my own people. Like, you feel me? It's like, it seems like you you gotta be a different race or some shit like that 
for your gangsters to be, you know, spoken about in history. Nah, my nigga, we gonna speak about our black gangsters too. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the fuck is you talking about? A lot of black gangsters, they wasn't just evil niggas. There's two types of thugs in this world. You got good thugs and you got evil thugs, my nigga. And that's a fact. Some niggas use they thuggery for evil and some niggas use they thuggery for good, my nigga. You heard? It's two types of thugs. I never fucked with evil thugs. You heard? I may have fucked with niggas who niggas thought was evil, but you ain't know them niggas the way I knew them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? They was good thugs. I know a good thug from an evil thug. Like my nigga Murder. Murder, murder got a lot of shit that niggas, you know, a lot of niggas may feel. Niggas don't want no parts of murder because he had a bad history, bro. But niggas they ain't no murder the way I know son. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas ain't no son the way I know son. You feel me? So when you know a nigga on a different level, you feel me? You will you ain't gonna feel that same level of evil that other niggas feel from that particular nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, like I said, it's good thugs and evil thugs. You got to decide which side you want to be on. You heard? Because I only fuck with good thugs. You heard? I don't fuck with them evil thugs, my nigga. Them evil thugs be having psychological problems, man. Good thugs is just niggas trying to do better, man. That don't really have to do better if they don't really want to, but they trying anyway. That's a good thug. You feel what I'm saying? That's a fact, man. D Stokes was popping. Random Ryan, that's a fact. Bobby Johnson was really good. Shit, nah, niggas. It, it's never been a nigga that ran up on me in the streets that I ain't show love to. I show love to niggas in these streets, bro, because shit, you better show love to these niggas in these streets. They the niggas making you hot. You feel me? It's the niggas in these streets that's watching that's making you hot, nigga. You better show love to them niggas. Because they don't got to watch your ass. You feel what I'm saying? Them niggas got 500 motherfucking YouTube pages they could be watching. If niggas is taking they, 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 they quality time to watch you, nigga, you better salute them niggas when you see them niggas in these streets, nigga. You heard? You better salute those niggas. You heard? Remember that song, Chug Rock, Chug Rock, made nigga? Treat them right. You gotta treat them right, bro. I'm trying to do all type of shit. I don't even know why I'm doing that because I gotta roll up an L. And the L, the weed is in my bag. Oh, shout out to the bro. You know, shout out to Marcy Projects. You feel me? Shout out to the bro Trouble for Marcy. We just did a stupid episode today. That's going to be fire. You heard? That's going to be fire. Exclusive Marcy history. Shit y'all never heard of in y'all life. You heard? Different shit, nigga. Different shit. That's all I'm saying. A shout out to the bro Trouble for Marcy. We put down a classic episode today. Shout out to the bro Kamal Speaks. I missed your call. I got to call you back and get that spoken word poem from you. I'm going to do that in a little while. <coughs> Shout out to the bro Ebron, man. Like, <sighs> Ebron, man. Why, why you told me that story today, bro? You, you feel me, son? Like, you know, sometimes you hear, like, niggas done gave me stories, son, that, you know, I decided not to put out because, you know, I, you know, I don't want to, you know, certain niggas' business don't need to be out there. You know what I mean? But it's like, yo, let me tell you something, son. We live in a day and time. We live in a new day and time, son. And I'm going to tell you some real shit, bro. Some business of yours might leak out that you're embarrassed about. And you fear that that business is going to leak out. When really, that should have put you where you need to be, son. Sometimes it be your dirty laundry that puts you where the fuck you need to be at, my nigga. You know why? Because more people relate to dirty laundry. More people can relate to having dirty laundry than cannot relate to having dirty laundry. So sometimes when your dirty laundry get aired, you may be mad as fuck. But ultimately, that shit might get you the biggest bag you ever had in your life, son. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a strange world we live in, son. You heard? It's a strange world we live in, son. 
You know what I mean? But um, I got a story, man. We could put out, man. That shit would do a million views, man. You feel me? We gonna have to put it out, man. Eventually, man. You heard? But it's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly, baby. It's ugly. But so what? So what is ugly? So what? So fucking what? Life is ugly, nigga. Being broke is ugly. Being forgotten about is even uglier. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Moves and big stories coming soon, man. Big stories. Big, big, big stories. Joe was popping. Harlem World King was really good. Word is bond. Ron Hacha was popping. Yeah, my bros. Oh shit, I forgot I had on. See something? Oh, yes. I'm on here dying of thirst, Lord. But yeah, man. Um definitely big shit coming. Big shit popping. Major motherfuckers reaching out every day. You heard? You know, like I told y'all niggas, man, the universe doesn't give you what you say you want. The universe gives you what you truly expect will happen. What you truly expect, the universe will give you. And never nothing before that. When you expect it wholeheartedly, that's when the universe is going is going to deliver it to you. If you if you you may say, yo, nigga, I'm 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 gonna get rich, nigga. I'ma deserve to get rich. Watch, I'm I'm nice, I need to be rich. You may feel that way, but you don't expect it. You heard? You like, yeah, I know I should be rich, but I ain't doing nothing where I should expect getting rich. You're not doing nothing. You got to make sure you're doing shit where you, your brain, your mind can start accepting the fact that you very well may get fucking rich. And then you, it gets to a point where you like, nigga, I am going to get rich. I'm looking for every time I check my mail in the morning, I'm waiting for the fucking million dollar um, email to be in there. So that's, that's when you get it, son. When you convince yourself that you deserve that shit. You heard Nev nothing before. You know when you deserve something, you start looking for it like, what, nigga? Nah, I need a million. You heard? You start developing that attitude like, nah, I need a milli. I need a milli, my nigga. If you ain't talking about a milli, I ain't really that interested. You feel what I'm saying? When you start putting that energy out into the universe, you know what I mean? Like I told you, my mind is a magnet, my nigga. That's why in the degrees it says y'all cool by playing with two pieces of steel. He discovered that one piece had magnetic in it and the other piece did not. You feel what I'm saying? The science behind that is the left side and the right side of the brain, which together has a magnetic pull. So when you concentrate on something all the time and think about it all the time, you sending mental vibrations out there. Thought is light, my nigga. Thought travels at the speed of light, you know what I mean? So, Basically, when you constantly uh, remember thought is light because your brain, the whole your whole body comes from the light of the sun. Therefore, even your power of thought lies in the energy and, and, and the energy of the sun. So basically, that's light. So when you think, you think at the speed of light. So you got to be careful what you think about because it goes to the universe real fast. But you got to put in work on those thoughts for them to actually happen. So while playing with those two pieces of steel, what you're understanding is when you put out negative shit into the universe, you will attract negative shit. When you pull out, when you put out positive shit into the universe, you will attract positive shit. You understand what I'm saying? But it's a vibration, it's a boomerang. So when you put that shit out, you keep concentrating, oh, I'm gonna get a million. I'm gonna get a fucking million. Somebody gonna holler at me with a million. Them thoughts is going out into the universe and they're magnetically pulling that reality into my life. But in order for it to work, you have to wholeheartedly believe or wholeheartedly know that is a possibility and that it could very well happen that it most likely will happen you feel what i'm saying but that's the two pieces of steel that yaku was playing with we dealing with the left and the right side of the brain we think we dealing with the magnetic pull of the mind you understand what i'm saying it's not it's not it's not uh it's not fictional when we just think, think your thoughts go nowhere no bro thoughts are things they told you that in one of the deepest books ever written thoughts are things you feel me? Whatever you concentrate and think about the most will surely be in part of your life, my nigga. So the key to the key to coming up is you gotta project your thoughts and, 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 and you know like when they say this is some deep shit. Like you know you hear that term master mason and shit, oh he's a master mason. 
You know, all that basically means is like when a person is a master mason, that doesn't mean he's at the top of the Masonic pyramid. Don't kill me, Illuminati. I'm just dropping a couple of little things, basic information about y'all shit. I'm not revealing secrets. You heard? But a master mason is just basically saying you have come into an understanding of controlling your physical urges. You don't got to fuck every time you want to fuck. You ain't got to eat every time you want to eat. And you don't just think recklessly. You think carefully. You control your thoughts. That is what a master mason is because your mind. See, I don't want to get too crazy and Illuminati drop down out the sky with a flying saucer and kill me right quick. All I'm saying, Illuminati, is I'm just letting them niggas know that the master builder is within, of course. The master building is the Christ light that exists within you. And you use that master builder to build your reality in life. Like you could build whatever reality you want in this world. You feel what I'm saying? You just gotta use the master builder. And in order to use that master builder, you have to control the way you think. You, your thoughts can't be all over the place. Oh, I'm gonna play Genesis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a beef patty with cheese. I'm gonna get a cigarette. Yo, I need some weed. Yo, I wanna fuck that bitch. That's your thoughts all over the place, bro. And as long as your thoughts is all over the place, you can't concentrate on one thing long enough to make it happen. You understand? So as you become a master of self, and I'm not saying I'm a master of self, I'm saying I would love to be. You feel me? But when you become a master of self, you begin to control your thoughts. Your thoughts ain't all over the place. That's the hardest fucking thing in the world. People think that shit is easy. Bro, it is hard to control what you think about and what thoughts you put out. If you become a master at that, you can master anything and have anything. When you learn to say, my mind ain't all over the place, my nigga. You heard? I'm focused on one thing at a time. And I'm concentrating on that one thing all the time. You feel what I'm saying? So it's hard, bro. It's hard. It's hard, baby. It's hard like me having these, having no socks on right now and these mosquitoes tearing my motherfucking ankles up like a smorgasbord. It's hard like that. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, my broskies, Val Hawkins was really good. Uptown was popping. Kenneth True Blood, Piff Powers was populating. Javon Lloyd was really good. Jay Hollywood was populating. My nigga Manny Gomez in the building. Manny Gomez, I need another story from you, bro. You gotta think up some good Chicago throwback stories or something like that. It don't gotta be a chasing your eggplant. It could be whatever. You heard, I just gotta keep Chicago fed before Chicago cuts my throat on that Chicago content. You heard? But nah, man. G'd up Quinn was populating. Blue Maya was popping. Told me the hitter was really good. Killer Man was really good. Flossy Canossi was popping. Villo, Vil Gang, what up? Cephalo was popping. Shit, I need to drop a book. That's a fact, bro. Like I told y'all, man, this shit is all my, most of my stories was in my audio book, but I'ma get ugly. I'ma get ugly real soon. See, I'm the type of nigga, bro, you know, I just wake up one day and I make moves. Like, I don't know when I'ma start doing what. I just wake up, I say, I'ma do this shit today. And that's it, nigga. You heard? But it's going down, bro. Trust me. Trust me. Big Mook was populated. Kenny Mac, DC was really hood. Shout out to my DC niggas, man. You heard? Shout out to my bro Knowledge from DC, AKA Godzilla, my nigga, man. Holla at me, son. My other Facebook page got deleted, man. I, 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 I finally got in contact with my bro from DC and then my page got deleted and I lost the nigga page, man. You feel what I'm saying? But my nigga Knowledge from DC with the glasses, man. A lot of y'all niggas know my son Knowledge with the glasses from DC. That's my bro. Tell that nigga I said to holla at me. You hurt? Yes. I was locked up with a couple of few good DC niggas, man. You heard? See, in New York, we different, son. When a nigga be locked up in our city, in our state, we show dumb love. 
You heard any nigga that was locked up from out of state in New York and he went up north, son. You know, he nigga may have had some problems with a couple of niggas, but overall, he gonna have a team of niggas who fucked with him, son. You heard New York niggas, man, we don't discriminate against other places, man. You know what I mean? We don't do that. That's other places that discriminate against us, but we, 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 we show that love, son. We show that love, nigga. You from New York. You from anywhere where in the world, nigga. You come to New York. You from New York. We fucks with you. Keto Blow was populating. Good looking, Don Weezy. I just dropped a new episode today on my gaming channel. You heard? Playing two crazy games. Gunsmoke and Sidearms. A lot of y'all niggas don't know about that. A lot of y'all niggas don't know about those games, man. I hate niggas who wanna race and shit around traffic. Like, nigga, go race, go race somewhere where it ain't no other fucking cars at, nigga. If you're gonna kill yourself, kill yourself. Don't kill us too, nigga, cause you wanna fucking race and show off your little corny ass car. Go to go somewhere where y'all can race in peace, nigga. You racing around old ladies and little kids in car seats and shit like you a stupid motherfucker. You spin out of control. You hit my car. You survive, but you kill my kids, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Like, you want to race? Nigga, take your ass on the highway at 3 in the morning and fucking race, nigga. Don't race and, 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 and rush our traffic. You understand what I'm saying? Dumb niggas, man. Dumb niggas, man. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas be racing on the FDR, the whole small ass skinny FDR. Niggas be zigzagging, racing on the FDR. Then when your ass go flipping over and you in that motherfucking Hudson River, some motherfucking where, you mad. I don't respect these niggas, my nigga. But I hate that shit. Niggas that wanna race around motherfucking traffic, nigga. Nigga, old ass lady next to you, nigga. You zooming past, scaring, giving her a fucking heart attack, nigga. Then when you see the police, you do three miles per hour. Like, that's the shit. If you gonna speed, nigga, speed past them niggas too. Nigga, see them niggas, nigga, get whiplash hitting the brakes. Almost break his fucking neck trying to stop before the police see him. Like, too late. They saw your ass already, nigga. You might as well keep going. Word, right, man. Smack the shit out of niggas, man. Nina Marie was really good. Her nigga be in that fucking Hudson River, nigga. And, and them toxins. Nigga be in that shit catching motherfucking the toxic Avenger disease. Come out that Hudson River, it should be like the toxic Avenger, nigga. All type of shit be, or nigga might grow an arm on his back. Fall into that Hudson River for five minutes. Yo, bro, y'all gotta watch that show. That shit is funny as fuck. Everything is trash. That shit funny, son. A black nigga fell in the Hudson River. Uh, uh, that nigga fell in the East River, rap. Right? Nigga fell in the East River by mistake. And the nigga ran over there like, yo, I'ma help you. That nigga ran up to that shit, looked in the water. Nigga said, uh, that water ain't looking right, man. You on your own, baby. You heard? Nigga left that nigga in the water. Nigga said, that water ain't looking right. I ain't jumping in that shit, nigga. You jump in that East River if you want to, nigga. You gonna have AIDS, everything. You gonna have everything when you come out that bitch, nigga. Trust me. You coming out that shit with 14 different diseases, nigga. You falling that shit. I be seeing niggas motherfucking fishing in that shit. Like, I be like, what's wrong with these people? I guess they be throwing the fish back into the river and shit. Like, you know, they do it for sport. But nigga, I don't even want to catch a fish out the motherfucking East River or the Hudson River, nigga. I don't want that radioactive shit. Nigga, the fish on heroin crack. You heard? The fish on motherfucking heroin crack. That shit on all type of drugs in the East River. That shit feeding off of dead bodies floating at the bottom of that shit. Like, I'm good, my nigga. Lucy's, fish done ate Lucy's, half smoked Lucy's, pizza crust. Nigga, I ain't fucking with them fish, nigga. Niggas be catching them shits, bringing them shits back to their crib. All right. All right, my nigga. <laughs> Straight up. Nigga, catch the fish out the water. That shit going through withdrawal, nigga. Fish like, yo, put me back in, nigga. Put me back in that heroin water. You know, a nigga done threw 20 bricks of heroin in that shit, shit running from the cops. 
Them fish higher than a motherfucker in that heat in that East River, nigga. Them, it's Bloods and Crips that's fish in the East River. Them niggas banging. Motherfucking Blood and Crip fish. The GD fishes down that motherfucker, nigga. Them niggas is popping and banging on each other down that motherfucker in the Hudson River. You can believe it. That shit got gang culture done fell down in that motherfucker. Word the mother. Straight up. You know how a regular lake or a regular river got a little good ecosystem. They go and they say, this is the fish and this is the crustacean. You do that shit with the East River if you want to and bring some cameras down that motherfucker, nigga. This is going to be four mafia niggas that they never found. Them niggas chained to the bottom of the shit floating. I mean, the fifth, the fish is dope fiends. You heard? It ain't right in there, son. It ain't right up in there, son. It's going to be guns, all type of guns down there. You heard? Bring a camera down there with some lights, nigga. We're going to see fish floating, swimming around with guns in their hand. You heard? Fish going to start blaming at you. Yo, Shell, where you from, Shell? Yeah, where you from, son? Nah, son. Nah, son. We don't do cameras out here, son. We into we doing too much out here, son. Bird. Fish just blam at you. Boo, 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 boo. Swim off. You know what I mean? That's how the fish get down in New York, nigga. You go in that Hudson River if you want to. Niggas will blam at you. Niggas will throw shots at you, son. With one of them guns that niggas done threw in the river. I'm telling you. But yeah, so you know, a mosquito bit me on my ankle while I was talking to y'all. I'm the type of nigga, once I get bit by a mosquito, you know, I'm off alive. I'm mad, I'm angry for the rest of the day. You heard? You sucking blood out of me, my nigga, like a vampire, my nigga, I hate you. Ice cream truck trying to get his last few days of ice cream sold. It's over, bro. It's over. Niggas is back in school and all of that, son. Hang it on up. Hang it on up, ice cream truck. You know, them niggas be thirsty, nigga. It be September 14th. Them niggas be... Nah, son. We eating pizza and beef patties again. You hurt? We ain't fucking with you, son. Them niggas be sad. The ice cream truck be looking sad once school September come around and that first little cold first little hoodie come out once that hoodie come out it's over for you ice cream truck then you know how september get warm right quick for another day like it might shoot up to 70 degrees and they could be back out nah nigga get the fuck out of here one day got warm you back you back in the streets nigga straight up and you do that shit soon as the summer come too like it be May, May 10th, it still be cold and shit. April, them niggas come cruising. Son, come on, son. Too early, son. Too soon, son. You heard? You're gonna be looking crazy out here, my nigga. Niggas be ignoring them niggas like, fucking thirsty ass ice cream, man. Nigga, we ain't even hot yet. This nigga like, bloom, 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 driving past the school, looking at the kids. Bloom, Smiling at the kids. Nah, get the fuck out of here. The icy man too, my nigga. Icy man be worse than the ice cream man. The icy man, soon as wo the first warm day. You heard? The coquito man, soon as the first warm day hit, that nigga be on the block like this. <laughs> Him and the nigga who, who, who got the bathtub ice on the back of his shit. You know them niggas making that. If all that water, they filling that up in the bathtub, bro. That's a lot of water to make that brick of ice, son. They filling that up in the, in the strong bathtub in their crib. You heard? After they kids get out the tub, they filling that shit up, making an ice block with it. And they got that shit on the block the next day. With the motherfucking syrupy flavors inside of 40 bottles. That's the only, only in New York a nigga could get away with. Selling your kid a bathtub icy where the Kool-Aid is in a 40 bottle, my nigga. 
You heard? You could visibly see that these bottles were ex old English bottles, and now they're orange and green and purple flavors of Kool Aid, and nobody says nothing. Parents, nobody says a thing, bro. You heard? Everybody just sweeps that under the rug that y'all niggas cleaned out some 40 bottles that y'all found in the garbage. Because you ain't drink all of them 40s yourself. You found them shits in the garbage. You washed them out. You filled them with syrup. And you feed that to our kids, bro. Let's just keep it 5,000. And that bath, that ice, that shit is bathtub ice. You look closely in that ice, there's a hair or two in there. You heard? It's a pubic hair or two in that brick of ice, bro. So when you be eating that snow cone, that you already snow cone, just know, my nigga. All right, what's up? Just know that hair is in that shit somewhere, my nigga. One little pubic hair is in there. It hurt? You ain't gonna notice that little hair. You gonna gulp that hair down, nigga. Your kid gonna be like, Dude, it's my red is my favorite, dad. That hair is your favorite, nigga. That pubic hair that you just ate, but we ain't gonna talk about it. You hurt? Yeah, but nobody be thirstier than that, nigga. The icy, the ice, the tub ice, nigga. That nigga outside in the winter time. That nigga be out there. Chill, Lord. Chill, Lord. But chill, my Negroids. Word. Izzo Wizzo, that's a fact, bro. Jerry Bailey was really good. Yeah, man, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's some fucked up shit when you got to go get weed. Like, you start getting to the age where you say, is, my, is that weed worth more than my rest and relaxation in my house? And then you say to yourself, is there a such thing as rest and relaxation without weed? I don't think there is. So you find yourself going to get the weed. Like I said, my weed man, you know, he fucking up, man. Shout out to my nigga. He know who he is. You fucking up, my nigga. You trying to get, you trying to go on a straight and narrow and live your regular, do the right thing in your life. But you fucking up my weed, my weed flow. You hurt? You feel me? I see that nigga gonna be like, yo, son, listen, son. Weed is legal, son. So what you gonna do, son? You gonna let the government get all your money, son? You heard? So you just gonna let the government take over the weed hustle. All right, I see how you getting down, son. You feel me? I see how you rocking, son. It's all good, son. I see how you rocking. You letting the government, the government, you, the government is, is, is taking yours, son. The government is dead in you. All right, nah, it's all good, son. So good, Lord. I get it. I mean, you changing, you changing on me, bro. It's all good though. Ninth power was populated. But yeah, man, I'm gonna get up off this right quick, man. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna smoke my last of the Mohicans. I'm gonna edit this episode. You know, sometimes I could really be disgusted with editing. You heard? That's why I need some cake. And I get this big cake so I can train some niggas. I want to train a nigga. Though. Look, son, this is how I do it. This is all you got to do. You feel what I'm saying? Get it in, Lord. But y'all, I'm going to holler at y'all bros, man. Know what I mean? Get at me, man. I don't know where I'm going to end up tonight. If I happen to end up in Midtown tonight, I might be back on Lit Live. If not, I don't know. I'll check in with y'all niggas tomorrow. We'll get it in, man. But, yo, leave a comment on that new Marcy Memoirs. You heard? Like, that title is funny as a motherfucker, Marcy Memoirs. You know, that only could be from the mind of Saquon. You heard? So, shit was so funny to me. I said, we running with that, nigga. Marcy Memoirs. You heard? <laughs> that shit sound funnier than a motherfucker, nigga. But, yo, you heard? Z-Boy Suicide Polo with the Ski Boy. I'm going to holler at y'all niggas, man. John Torres was populating. Rose Red, I see you in the building. I'm going to scream at y'all niggas.